all right guys so today we are going to learn how to work with the post traffic assignment analysis um, first of all you need to uh, check that you have a traffic assignment already loaded in your network and you can do that by going to calculate procedure sequence and make sure that you have the PRT assignment okay um, doesn't matter which uh, type you're using for the traffic assignment you can choose from the various types here uh, I'm using an equilibrium assignment so just make sure that you have that one's done in your network and ready so the first thing I'm going to talk about is flow bundles okay so flow bundles are very useful tools to do some analysis after you finish your traffic assignment uh, flow bundles can show from where the traffic is coming and from where where it's going to go so let's start so go to graphics flow bundles this tab here will show um, the flow bundles you can choose between prt and put i don't have put network in here so i'm going to work with prt so let's make a small example and flow bundle a link uh, before that i'm going to the link graphic parameters and I'm removing the classified display so this will be better turn off the noise so I will flow bundle this link in this direction okay and I'm going to run it from here so as you can see the marked link is shown in purple and the volume that used this link and distributed the other network is shown in the orange color so for example um, i have 340 2600 203 and this will add to 3143 uh, uh, so people are using this link are coming either from here or here or here and they are distributed among these one two mm, three routes okay um, this is this is one one use for the flow bundle uh, it can be more complicated than that um, let's make a bit more complicated one you can go here to initialize your flow bundles okay so now i'm going to switch on the zones and i want to see okay people using or people going out from the zone which is number 15 and using one of the links okay so we will go to zone I will click on the zone it will come here and if you click here you can choose the demand segment maybe sometimes you have another defined more than one demand segment and you just want to work with that demand segment or you want to work with all the demand segments okay and the traffic types is the origin demand or the destination demand I want to work with the originated demand so people are going out from that zone and then I will go to the link okay so I want to see the people are generated from this zone and using this link okay so it is this and this link I will run it so I have 640 okay they are generated from this zone and they are using this link they are going to here and here and there okay um, there is one thing that might be confusing you can see that the volume is starting from this link okay and the zone centroid is here um, this means that there is a connector okay that connects this node here up to this zone okay if you switch to connector okay so for sure there is a, there is a connector connected to here okay so that would be fine okay um, I'll switch off okay and I will initiate okay um, sometimes you want to know um, I, I, I'll make another final example about the flow bundles uh, I want to see the people who are using this link and this link okay so you can have first and okay so people are using this link and using this link so I will run it okay it means that i don't have anybody using this thing let me check another one 
this one and this one and I will run it okay good so we have we have the results here okay so I have this is just another example that will tell you that who is using this link and this link okay if you want um, there is another uh, of course you know you can have or or and okay so and means both of the criteria should happen or one of them so I want to know the people who are using this link or we'll go to the plus sign we will have or this link okay and I'm going to run it so you can see that the results are different okay because my criteria is different so this will finish the part for the flow bundles the second one is going to be screen lines so I will switch off this tab and we will go for screen lines okay so screen lines is very important tool for the post traffic assignment analysis uh, usually we will use it to evaluate the travel times, check the assignment um, during the trip distribution or the trip distribution models during calibration and validation uh, or maybe you want to measure the growth um, in different scenarios so let's say um, in this x year okay I have this much of traffic after 10 years I want to know how much the growth so screen lines are very useful and easy tools let's see um, how to work with them okay so we have here something called screen lines here okay so I'm going to add a screen line okay and in my network here okay I will go to the add okay and I want let's say to know the people who are driving from this side to this side from this point okay so I'm going to draw uh, the screen line like this okay okay so this is a screen line that cuts through uh, my network okay and I will go and just right click and finish insert okay here it will show this new window for you okay you can see that you have an arrows here so this means this is your direction it's towards up okay this is the direction of the screen line um, later now we will know what is the what's the what's the uh, benefit of this direction okay uh, you can define the number of code and name okay here I can add some attributes so I will go to rows and then let's say I want links in screen line orientation links against screen line orientation so that's why this is this is the meaning of the arrows okay so this is will be in the orientation of the screen line so we'll go here and then i want the summation sum of the volume so volume prt vacant and i click okay it has been inserted here okay i'm going to delete the previous one and okay okay so you can show the results there okay or you can show the results by going to screen lines list okay and the same thing you can come here and add your attributes you want the summation the average or whatever okay um, let me draw another screen line okay so I'm going to delete this one and I will show my traffic volume okay um, we will go to the I have been I, I have explained this one before okay for the graphic parameters I think it's video number three so you can check that one if you still don't know how to work with the graphic parameters okay I'll switch off the flow bundle I preview all right so here is my volume probably this is my volume to capacity ratio um, so let's say okay sometimes you have a very large network okay and you want to know um, how many people are crossing from one point to one point or from um, many different links to other different links so it's very difficult for you maybe to calculate them manually so that's why screen lines are useful so I will cut through here okay this is my screen line assume like that okay it's just an example it's not very very accurate okay so here as you can see 
the volume in the direction of the screen light which is going down now okay forward links okay down okay in this direction the summation of all of these links that the screen line have cut in them is 8504 okay um, so this is this is the use okay I can add more attributes I can add maybe the capacity of these links summation of capacity okay 87100 I mean they are just imaginary numbers okay nothing is accurate here all right so this is done for the screen lines I'm going to delete all of the screen lines here and the last thing is I will switch off the bars links draw bars okay okay um, the last thing we have is something called territory indicators okay so what is territory indicators sometimes you want to know um, um, what is happening inside an area of your network okay that has um, some importance let's say it's your study area okay so let me show you the example I will go here to territories I switch off switch on sorry and I will draw a territory okay I will add it here just give it a name or something and then you will draw your territory okay let me just draw it like this finish so this is a territory I have okay sometimes you want to do some analysis inside this territory okay let's say VKT VHT vehicle kilometer travel vehicle hours of travel how much demand how much you know anything inside this territory so this is useful and um, very easy you can just go to calculate procedure sequence and create a new procedure okay go to the miscellaneous down here and go to theater indicators and switch um, just run it execute mark procedure and it's done okay now what I'm going to do, I'm going to do, just you know, you can see that this territory is selected here. I will just select it again. Okay, and right click, list. Okay, so in my list here, you can see, for example, how much number of nodes, okay, um, vehicle kilometer travel, vehicle kilometer travel bar, analysis period, analysis hour, I can add. Um, some other attributes I'm going to delete all of this control A to delete all of them and then I will say um, for example the, the if you have some um, transit assignment you can check how much boarding alighting you have um, cost vehicle kilometer vehicle kilometer travel um, I'm going to add this one and vehicle hours list traveled okay and maybe some other stuff I don't know network length um, there is so many attributes okay right click okay so this is very useful for some analysis maybe you have different scenarios and you will draw different territories or you also draw the same territory in the in different scenarios and you will see how much increase you have um, in the demand or in the hours we hourly traveled okay um, there is another thing that might be also useful that you may not get some attention to it in here you can see here something that this is my attribute right you can show how many decimals you want to show you want to show the units you know kilometers minutes and seconds no I don't want okay what is the units what is the format meters kilometers okay and I click OK so now it's just giving me numbers okay so it might be easy for you to copy it to Excel and work with it later okay um, so we are done for this um, lesson if you have any questions please just write a comment and thanks for watching